talking about making a series that's entirely CGI, the look of it is pretty important. We don't want our world to look exactly the same as the world we're in now, just with dinosaurs in it. We want it to feel like, yes, this is planet Earth, but it's a very different planet Earth the way you understand it. So we wanted to arrive at something that felt stylistic, without feeling unreal. Absolutely everything we do it has to be made from scratch. Nothing is there for free. You can't just, you, we're not just taking pictures and putting them together, we're generating everything. We had to decide, okay, what are the plants? What does it look like? How is it going to look? Because if you don't prescribe it, nothing will be there. You've got to invent these worlds. And we'd do a kind of a rough sketch of how we kind of want it to look. And then we'd send it to an artist, and they would paint up these back plates. That sets the kind of colours, the tone, the weather, the time of day. So they're critical to actually the look of the scenes. It's a very tricky balance, and that's where the lighting needs to come in. The lighting team take in environment stuff like plants, rocks, trees, anything that's out there in the world in order to create the foreground elements in which these dinosaurs live. And that's, that, there's an awful lot of work that obviously goes into doing that. They then get passed on to the compositors, who are the people who take all the layers that are generated out of the, from the lighters. They then put in the backdrops, the matte paintings that have been created, and make everything sit together. So they're creating the atmosphere, they're finishing the shots. It's a very strange art of trying to understand what makes something work and what doesn't, but you just try to load the dice in your favour of all the cues, all the signals that you're sort of taking in when you're looking at this, feel consistent with a kind of how you understand the world. After the compositing, there's also then the layers of which make a lot of difference. The dust kick up from the dinosaur's foot the bits of blood, the water, the splashes, all those things then need to be added as well to make it feel more immersive and, and visceral and real. And that is the real nuance, I think, of compositing and lighting. To get that right, to sell the world and understand what can work and what can't work.